going to do a little tutorial today. Um, you, you've seen all of our weekly Wednesday photos. Um, so we're going to show you what it takes for us to get good photos um, and maybe give you a few tips along the way. Um, you got to make sure the lighting is good. Um, always have a bunch of toys around, different ones. Um, so we like crinkle toys, um, toys that can get their attention and then raise their viewpoint up and down. And the nice thing about an iPhone or an Android is you can take a ton of pictures. And a lot of times this takes us a bunch. This is a new environment for the cats, so they're definitely kind of intrigued by what's going on. Um, so they're a little bit more calm. Um, but I think we've got some pretty good ones of Sydney so far. So it's definitely easier with two people. Um, one putting the cat down and... Hey buddy. So you can see we're taking a bunch of photos. Some are easier than others. <laughs> Come there. This angle. There we go. Oh, that was good. All right, and last one. Here's Gail. So it takes a little patience, um, but I think really good pictures definitely help. Oh adoption and I just missed that one. So thanks for tuning in. So we're all done. Um, so a couple more pointers. Um, Dewey did a great job. So you can use something as simple as a, a, a simple background like a chair. Um, but like I said, make sure the lighting is good. And then the other um, the other big thing is just make sure that it's just the cat. Um, you know, get them looking at the camera. Some of the ones where they're looking off somewhere else are always good too. Um, but always make sure you get their face so that the people on Pet Finder can see what they're getting. Um, let us know if you have any questions.